Welcome to the February 2023 Sky Report. I'm Patrick Sill. Three planets are visible in the evening sky this month. Venus, the brightest planet in the night sky, is easily visible to the west soon after sunset throughout this month. During the middle of the month, Venus stays up for about two hours and sets just before 8 p.m. Jupiter is located above Venus. The planet is about 30 degrees above the western horizon at 6.30 p.m. on the 15th. Here is a telescopic view of Venus taken last month. Although Venus is featureless in visible light, this image was taken in ultraviolet to show the planet's cloud features. Jupiter is always a delight to see through a telescope. Here we see its many cloud bands in this enhanced view. As we turn our gaze towards the south from Venus and Jupiter, the red planet Mars is nearly overhead in the constellation Taurus the Bull. Mars moves through northern Taurus by as much as 8 degrees towards the east from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. By 10 p.m. Mars and Taurus are in the southwest. Mars sets just about 2 a.m. Below Mars and Taurus, the mid-winter stars and constellations blaze across the southern sky. The most prominent constellation is Orion the Hunter. I took this picture of Orion above the Planetarium Dome at Griffith Observatory. Even from Los Angeles, Orion's bright stars, Betelgeuse and Rigel, can be seen in the midst of the city lights, as well as its distinctive three stars in a row. From locations far from city lights, Orion is even more spectacular. East of Orion is Canis Manger, the great dog. It is marked by Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. Returning to the evening sky, on the 21st, the two-day-old waxing crescent moon is located five degrees below Venus. The next day, the moon is about half a degree from Jupiter. In the next few days, watch as Venus approaches Jupiter. By the 28th, Venus and Jupiter are separated by one degree. On March 1st, Venus and Jupiter are in a very close conjunction. The two brightest planets in the night sky are separated by the diameter of a full moon. This is an unusual sight, as both planets are standing side by side above the western horizon at dusk. Both planets might be visible in a telescope with a wide field of view. Weather permitting, Griffith Observatory will broadcast the event. Please check our website for an announcement. Our moon phases this month. Full moon is on the 5th, last quarter is on the 13th, new moon is on the 19th, and first quarter is on the 27th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio!